everybody, Bob Lee here. I normally don't promote dates, but I'm going to be at the Brea Improv, May 3rd and May 4th. Come check it out. Hey, it's Andrew Santino. I definitely promote dates. I'm going to be in Tampa, April 26th, 27th. Then I'm going to Phoenix, May 3rd and 4th when he's in Brea. Then I'm in Nashville, May 10th and 12th. Uh, in Dallas, Texas, May 31st. Then I go to San Francisco. We added shows in Dallas and San Francisco. Go to andrewsantino.com for tickets. andrewsantino.com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Put the lotion in the basket, Jesse's girl. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. I wish I had Jesse's girl. Jesse's girl. No, 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 Jesse's girl. No, 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 no. Why can't I find a co-host like that? Jesse's back. Jesse's back. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse's back. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse's back. Thank you for having me. I want to talk like this the whole time. Oh, good. That'll be good for us. It's a new character I'm working on, guys. You'll see the variety of characters I come up with this year. Because you've been having a lot of sex. What about this guy? (laughs) I can do that, too. I'm not having any sex. I thought you were. No. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. He's having a lot of sex. No, I'm born again Christian. Then what's this? (gasps) Oh, wow. (laughs) What's that? What's that? (laughs) Brain. Wow. The fake paparazzi? Well, who's that? Girl? I don't know who that. I don't know who that person is. Who's that? Da, 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 I have no da, idea da, who that da, is. Da, da. Watch what she does here, though. We got Bobby Lee getting into his dented she, I, Audi. I go, I, so this is what happened. We go around the car. She's so nervous that I go, "What are you doing on this side? Go around." <laughs> she was. <laughs> <laughs> she thought you were your yeah, yeah. Uber. She she was like, "What is going on here?" Because they're flashing, and then she was like. I go around. You should have opened the door for her. I, I don't do that anymore. Uh, should have done. Why? What do you mean? Because I'm Jesse's <laughs> girl. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So wait a minute. What's a Hollywood curtain? Where? 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 Where was this? What restaurant? Oh, I, I'll show you what it's called. This I forgot. It's, it's an Italian restaurant called. God, you're so famous. I'm not famous. Shut the. F- I love you, what? Giorgio Baldi. <laughs> yeah, Giorgio Baldi. Oh, nice. Have dude. you been there? Santa no, no, I'm not. I'm not That's fancy high. like you. Dude. Oh, shut up! Dude. <laughs> you're more fancy than me. You're the one that knows all the restaurants in every city that we go to. You're the one that like knows all the. You have to do the playlists whenever we're in a restaurant. I got the playlist because you know all the music. You know everything. So don't tell me that you don't know. I wish I had Jesse's girl. girl. Okay. Bobby Lee steps out with an unknown female on a rainy night in L.A doesn't bother opening the door for her to his <laughs> dented Audi A5. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Get, yeah. we can, uh, Bobby, Bobby. Is that your yeah, dented Audi? Shut up. Uh, that's awesome, dude. I've, that's so cool to get paparazzi like that. So here's, <laughs> I want to start off the show by saying, I want to apologize to the people, the women that have been in Miss America pageants And then they, you know, they get asked that question when they're in their bathing suit or whatever. And what I realize is this, those pageant questions are difficult. Let's hear. No one can answer. So I want to do a thing to see if we can answer if we were a Miss America. Good. Here are the the categories. No, what what do you mean? There's there's categories? Yeah. And there's Korea. Yeah. No, but you know how they, so give me, so I'm Miss Korea. Mm. You wish. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, you're Miss North Korea. (laughs) I can be North Korea. You sure yeah, could. Yeah, yeah. All right, you know. So I'm I'm up there in my bathing suit, and who's the guy? Who's the Mexican dude that does it? Mexican dude? Yeah. Who's the guy that that Holly uh, Mario Lopez? Oh, pfft. is okay. that his name? <laughs> yes, Mario. Mario doesn't he sometimes ask it? Let's go back to when Trump used to do it, though. All right, all right. <laughs> How did you prepare for this pageant? <laughs> How did you prepare, Miss North Korea? Some say best set of tits. Uh, no, not, not that pageant. question. Give me another question, like more of a, about a worldly question. Here we go. What pageant queen did you look up to? So I'm, I missed. Give me the questions. Zoom yeah, Miss Miss. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, Miss North Korea. What makes you unique? Oh, what made me unique is that. Well, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop for a second. You're already done. <laughs> That's insane. You I, lose. I, 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 what, no, I want to do it. Like, I want to say it's I, very difficult. It's very difficult. But I, here's, I want to be as I don't. I, I don't want to go for comedy. I want to really see if I can answer it 
as a as a miss you miss something. You don't want to go for comedy. <laughs> no, I want to see if I I want to just see if I can be like if I know. If you don't want to go for comedy, take this bit to that Tiger Belly show that you do. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead now. All I'm right, just I, I, miss, I miss Korea. Go ahead. Jesus. Okay. Head on, head on. No, okay, that, that one's good. That that one's good. That one I like. All right, Miss North Korea. Yeah, yeah. If I gave you a thousand dollars, what would you do with it? Oh, for me, what I would do is I would um, save some for future. I would save, uh, buy my parents a meal. I would probably invest for m my family, but then also give, give to the community and give them, you know, food. Very good. Is that good? Wow. Not really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me ask you now. Go ahead. Um, who are you, Miss Ireland? Sure. <laughs> you hate this bit. No, I love it. Uh, all right. I am Miss Ireland. All right, right. No, I really like it. But I, I yo, I'm Mario Lopez. That's, okay. <laughs> Come on. That's, I don't know how to do an impression. No, that sounds like him. Yeah, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Mario Lopez here, what's up? Oh, uh, so Miss Ireland. Are you doing George Lopez or Mario Lopez? <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you doing? I'm doing a combination. Okay. I'm, yeah, all the Lopez. All right, I'm Miss Ireland. All right, all go right. On, uh, yeah. Go on then for the judges. Yo, so um, Miss Ireland. Hi. If I if I have an imaginary box in front of me, what's inside of it? Well, it's up to your imagination, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you had an imaginary box in front of you. Yeah, yeah. What would I hope is inside of it? Yes. World peace. <laughs> wow, that's so oh, good. I'm hoping you would open the box and world peace would break out. That's so good. All over the world. Stop the wars. Give back the hostages. Okay, okay what, what do you- <laughs> What, you, you miss Phoenix? I thought you were gonna say a pot of gold. <laughs> oh, bye. <yeah. laughs> I'll be Miss Phoenix. Yeah, Miss Phoenix. Uh, all right. Um, I like how you guys were countries, but I'll, <laughs> I'll just be a- I'm, Phoenix is kind of its own country. Yeah, that's true. All right, Miss Phoenix. Put the mic up closer. Uh, it pushes. No, it keeps up. falling down. We'll tighten it up. Who is sitting in this chair? By the way, it's really stretched out. Uh, go the uh, goop. <laughs> or Miss, Miss Arizona, hi, yo, Mario Lopez here. What's up? What's up? And we got Ch Trump here too, man. Hello, Miss Arizona. One of my favorite places to golf and get hookers. Yeah. If I uh, let me ask you a question. If I looked at your social media, what would I notice first? Hi, um, uh, I think my social media, you would see me helping a lot of children um, getting off the heat. They're boiling out there on the sidewalks, just boiling children. And I go out there and I um, scoop them up and I have a really air conditioned basement that I, wait, can I start over? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I shouldn't have told you about the basement. Yeah. I, I give a lot back to the homeless. When I look at your social media, Miss Arizona, yeah. I look for your tit pics. That's all I want. <laughs> There's a lot of those. When your boobies are out. Okay, here you go. Okay. Miss North Korea. Yes. Hi. This one's so good. Hello, hello. Do you support Medicare for all? See, this is where it gets hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, these are the questions that uh, fuck yeah. you up. Oh, totally. Right? Do I support... Uh, you repeat the question always to kill time. That's smart. Do I support, what is it again? Uh, Miss North Korea, <laughs> do you support Medicare Medi for all? Well, in North Korea, we don't have a Medicare. Oh. We don't even have a care. <laughs> we, we, we got what we call nothing. You know, so I support Medicare if it ca you care for people. Medicare less? We have me Medicare less. <laughs> That's what we have there in North Korea. But if in United States, I believe that Everyone have a right to do, to get health care. I think it's a human right. Okay, Miss Arizona, recently President Trump has said the United States has an immigration crisis at the southern border. Do you agree? Why or why not? Yeah, well, especially since he's here. Uh, I really agree. I... Answer carefully, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big, I really was disappointed when Arizona turned blue. I If you elect me as your um, uh, woman president, I will. What? Yeah, MAGA. She's a MAGA girl. But she's not running for president. Well, no. Miss America's woman president. It's what? <laughs> oh. That's I president see. for women. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's really uh, well, good. Uh, no, I'm going to ask you now. Oh, I see the one I want next. Okay. <laughs> Miss Ireland. Well, can, can, can you be somewhere in uh, Italy. Go be Italy now. Okay. Uh, Miss Italy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Miss Italy, many Americans believe we should focus on fixing the Earth before traveling into space. How do you feel about NASA's missions to the moon and Mars? Well, 
To be honest, I don't give a shit about Moon and Mars. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's, yeah. it's all about on the, you know, just to be in Capri and be on the island and oh. smoke and drink. Yeah, yeah. Yes, in Italy, we don't care about any of this bullshit. <laughs> wow. We want to fuck and eat. Thank you, thank you, Miss Italy. I used to fuck a guy named Mars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruno. Yeah, Bruno. I fuck, yeah, 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 you fuck Bruno. He come here to perform. I let him suck on my titties uh, yeah. out, on the, uh, out on the beach. But uh, for the most part, I don't care. Go to Earth, don't come back. Fuck off. It's okay. Yeah. You also fuck Dana Moon. Yes, the comedian. <laughs> yeah, the comedian. Only when she is in the character. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Miss, Miss North Korea, finally. Uh, why, 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 why do I? Uh, okay, sorry about that. Give me a different country. Yeah, Miss Japan. <laughs> oh, oh. Miss Japan, Hello. what does it mean to be a woman? <laughs> what does it mean to be a woman? Yeah. Oh my God, it means so much. It means to it gives life. Being woman is about being nurture. It's about warmth. It's about um, you know, care. You know, care. That's what it is. That's a really good answer. Nurture, warmth, care. Yeah, that's really sweet. I'm trying to be, you know, I know that there's no comedy there, mm. but I, I, How I don't... often should a woman give head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's very nasty. But I'm trying nasty to give answers woman. that's going to win me the competition. That is good. You would not win, but you'd do good. You'd fare okay. What? What do you mean? If I was a hot girl, I would win with that answer. No, you wouldn't. If I was a hot girl, because what does it mean to be a woman? So much. Right. It means everything. It does mean. It's everything. Yeah. Power. Power. Dude, you know how much power you guys have? No, not really. <laughs> I don't think I'm using all the power. You don't use, you, you know what, dude, you know what you're like? You're like Wolverine not using the claws. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah, you gotta use them. Yeah, you don't ever use your power. Okay, just give me an example where I can use my women power. I don't wanna. <laughs> I mean, you know. Go ahead. No, I don't know. I'm not using my full potential. Well, can I just, I'll tell Spoken you. Spoken like a true woman. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so maybe I am doing it. <laughs> no. You're doing it perfectly. <laughs> no, I would just be like, if I was a woman, I'll just say how would I use my power. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would have an OnlyFans, right? <laughs> and I would just take my vaginal lips like a bat wing and just be flying. <laughs> like fly, flying, you know? <laughs> right? Yeah. That, yeah. And I would get a bunch of followers. Tons. Right? Do bat four woman. or five years. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Anyone can come in. Foof, 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 foof. Open, open for Opens business. Opens for business. Dude. Yeah. And then retire. I saw a girl uh, do a video about the house she bought with the OnlyFans money. It was like, uh, I don't know, if was TikTok or something. And it was incredible. She's like, I'd like to thank 200,000 uh, men all around the world for buying me this house. And I was like, that's fucking amazing. And it was huge. It was such a nice big house. Is that OnlyFans? Eight? No, no, no. Uh, but how do we look, look, luxury house tour, 21 year old OnlyFans model. Is that it? Welcome to my house tour. Oh, yeah. This is my house tour where I show you around my humble abode. This is a really long awaited video. I've been at my house for seven months. Finally got everything how I want it. I'm such a perfectionist. I literally wasn't going to show you guys. <laughs> without making it perfect. We are starting on the bottom floor. I've got three floors. We're starting inside the house because I'm not gonna show you guys outside the house for price. It's funny that we just talked about like the depths <laughs> of being a woman and then we clicked on this video. Yeah. This was the most powerful woman you're telling me? It's the most powerful woman in the world. <laughs> <laughs> She's running for president next year. She, <laughs> she might win. You know what? I apologize. To whom? To Jesse. Why? I, I'm saying that you're not using your power. You are using your power. You're, you're doing it in, in the... In the right way. I think you were joking, right? I was. Oh. I don't think so. <laughs> oh no, you're being serious. Yeah, what? Oh, yeah, like... I was kidding. Yeah, I was obviously killing, kidding. But I'm just saying, just jokes aside, though. I think that um, you work so hard, you take so many risks, and you walk through so much bravery, and you do it with ethically and. Can I ask you something? What? What does walk through bravery mean? <laughs> I like that, but I don't know either. When you walk 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 through bravery, what do you? What is that? Well, you have bravery, right? Yeah, I see it. You know what it is? Yeah. A vision it. Oh, hold on, let me... Yeah, there, I see it right there. There it is. All right. You know what a cartoon brick wall is? I mean, I kind of... It's. I, I'm guessing it's, it sounds like what it is. Yep. Now think of a cartoon brick bravery wall. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Right? Yeah, I got it. Now imagine just going through it. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. Yeah, that's oh, what right. Was, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It took me a second, but I guess. Yeah. Maybe I said that wrong. No, you didn't. You're brave. Uh, but you also walk through it. Oh, wow. Is that better? Much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I could be using my pussy way more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. I'd be unstoppable. Now, when you, poo, 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 when you see a video like that, how, what, how do you feel? Aroused. <laughs> <laughs> the OnlyFans video girl? Yeah, yeah doing I a house feel, tour. I feel like good for that fucking chick for making money off people that wanted to pay to see Me her. Too. And then Me she too. bought a house. Me too. That's good. The fucking rad. Iggy Azalea. Made nine point two million dollars on OnlyFans. On OnlyFans, and it's our only, and it's April. <laughs> wow! Oh. <laughs> wow! Holy fucking shit! Yeah, Coco Austin. That is, uh, that's, uh, I don't know who that is actually. Mia Khalifa, the porn star. Erica Mina, Tana Manju, Gemma McCourt, Denise Richard, Denise Richards, the actress. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck is that report from? Does that say Tokyo News? Tuco News. Same thing. I love it. I get all my news from Tuco News. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, guys, forget Fox or CNBC. Tuco News is going to have the plug. <laughs> and all the Iggy Azalea made $9.2 million so far in 2024. That's- That's insane. Fucking bonkers. That's great. No, that's insane. Give us some. How come we're not doing a Bad Friends Only Fans? I know. We, how much do you think we can make, though? Not a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll show my taint. You do uh, every night anyway. That's free. <laughs> yeah, it's free. I, I give it away to for free. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Denise Richards is not naked on her OnlyFans. There's no fucking way. Is that her? Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> oh my god. You have <laughs> an account. Yeah, he has an account. Yeah, yeah. You know he does. Subscribe. It's free for 30 days. And then after that, forget to cancel and you'll be charged thirty five dollars a month. Big right. deal. Get over it. Yeah. Well, okay. do, can you go zoom down to see if there's any like, there we go. So it's her getting her hair done, her in gowns. There's her tushy. <laughs> okay. Good I'm for her. saving it. I'm saving it because I got a lot of heat right now. A You're lot of thanks to you guys. So if I get to like 70 and I don't have yeah. any more heat, I'll, mm. then I'll release them. I, th I think you should save this. Save it till marriage. Save your OnlyFans till marriage. Once you get married, then open up an OnlyFans. Well, then, yeah, my husband can film it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you got a partner in crime then. I went to the La Jolla Comedy Store last week and I walked in and this girl that's working there, her name is Char. She's a Middle Eastern comedian. She's from Poway. She lives in Poway. Yeah. And she goes, I'm the one that's, do I have your only fan, your, not your, your, the Bobby Lee Army fan page. And I run it. Oh, that's cool. And that was so sweet. I know, it's nice to meet you. She was so sweet. What were you doing down in La Jolla? You just did a pop-in? No, Saturday morning, I woke up. I was, So I went to the um, La Val Valencia Hotel, spent the night there. Went to the store and then spent the night there to give Dan a forty or forty year cake. I saw the photo at at his 40, at men's meeting. Forty year sober anniversary cake. Oh, shout out Dan! He's and then awesome. he, it was great because it looked like a supermarket cake. <laughs> Didn't miss that. I'll tell you that. You're really gonna fucking piss me off today. I'm not in the mood to fucking play right now, dude. <laughs> I mean, what what is one? Ha Number one, do you know how AA meetings work? No. Okay. So every week, and Carlos can back me up, right? You look like a supermarket cake. <laughs> Dude, you're a fucking piece of fucking shit. Fucking piece of shit. Was so it? this is how it works. <laughs> was it? Was it? It was. This, this is how it works. Man. Where was it? Was it Ralph's? I don't know. I didn't even look at the cake. It was Ver Vaughn's? Yeah. I, this is how it works. John's. Every year, they, they do like a, you know, they do a group census, consensus, not group, a group meeting where they nominate people that do like chairs. Mm -hmm. It's always a newcomer and they go, who wants the cake commitment? Some newcomer raises says, I'll do it. So every week his job is to go to a, anywhere and buy a cake and bring it to the meeting, right? I don't know where the fuck it's from, but that's not the point of the birthday. Oh, I see. 40 years of sobriety is a huge deal, man. That's why I thought it would be a better cake. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's wrong? Dude, I, I, honestly. Dude. Wow. I love it. Yeah. They didn't I, say sober for 40 years for the cake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but kind of. You've been mouthing off, dude. It's the baby. I think it's keeping him up at night. He's getting a little yeah. bitter and angry. Anyway, so I went to this men's meeting. Look at that fuck. You look like a highlighter, by the way. <laughs> you look like a stupid fucking highlighter. <laughs> Right? He looks, like, oh my God. he looks like a fucking highlighter. Look at him. He wants to yeah. be noticed, so <laughs> bright colors. Yeah. It's look at how loud that outfit is. It's like he fell out of a time portal from eighty six. <laughs> it's insane. It's just Yeah, you you do can I say something, McCone? Mm -hmm. And I'm being honest. Yep. You don't look good. 
it looks ridiculous. When you go outside, it's like, you you look like a fucking nerd. Like no, but not the, the candy. <laughs> right? Yeah, the colors yeah, of the nerds candy. The colors <laughs> of the candy. Yeah, you do. Not even a nerd. nerd. You know yeah, I mean? you're you, not even cool enough to be a nerd. Nerd. Yeah, yeah. You're the nerd candy. <laughs> it's like these are colors that are so unnatural, and they don't even look good. I love you, man. You look. We, I love you too. You but is that great. what the kids are doing? So. Rocket, Rocket money, money. y'all, y'all. Hey, y'all. Y'all, you got to save money, and I've been bleeding money. You know why you bleed money? Because I have so many su subscriptions. So many subscriptions that you forgot about. Did you know nearly 75% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about? These two guys included. Before mm. I started using Rocket Money, I thought I had, I don't know, I don't know, like two or three subscriptions. And by the way, had like 10. Had no idea. Uh... I couldn't believe when they showed me I was paying for nonsense. And Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. And if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel it with a few taps. I like how they have a dashboard that shows you the monthly spending compared to last month. You can clearly see your spending habits. Uh, they create a custom budget if you need that and help you uh, get your spending back on track. Rocket Money, by the way, has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash badfriends. That's rocketmoney.com slash badfriends. Rocketmoney.com slash badfriends. Morgan, Morgan and Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. Ow. Oh, my back. Ow. <laughs> my back. Well, I'm, I crashed into you. My oh, back, too. Yeah, my you back. You guys, if you're- My arm. All right, so in this situation, you know, what are you going to do, bud? I don't know. What do I, I do? You go to Morgan and Morgan. Call Morgan and Morgan. Oh, wow. Morgan. Yeah, what are Morgan they? Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 1,000 lawyers with over $20 billion recovered for over 500,000 clients. Morgan & Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. Well, wow, that's crazy because I, I would imagine submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is so easy. I bet, you know, it's like rocket science is hard, but submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is easy. Yeah, it's like you know, using fusion reactors in the sky to grab absorption for, from, for oxygen is hard, but submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is easy. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash badfriends or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. That's for the people, F-O-R, the people.com slash badfriends or pound law, pound 529 from your cell. This is a paid advertisement. This was actually like. <laughs> here we, Why did here he, we go? He was like a twenty-minute explanation. Yeah. I wanted yeah, yeah. to buy this when I was in like middle school, but like by this what? Is like old Tyler the Creator shit. But I couldn't afford that back when I was like in middle school or high school. So now it's just like you know what? I know it's very loud, but you know, live that out. Hey, it's your whole, come come over here. I want to see your whole outfit. God, you're such a wiener. What a wiener. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's loud. Yeah. Yeah. Your outfit is screaming right now. I gave you that jacket. Oh, also, it blends in exactly with the show. Look at where we are. You yeah. did great. I, I blend in more with the show than you do. Whoa. Whoa. Defensive. Careful. Go sit back in the booth before you get assaulted. <laughs> so he's just, I've been gone for three months, so he just disrespects you like that. 100%. He does wow. it all the time. Wow. It's nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe how things have changed around no, here. No, no, you have no idea. I literally just got so angry. <laughs> like, I haven't been that angry. I'm not kidding you. Why are you like just six internalizing years. it? Usually you just- I didn't know what to do. Me. I was like, am I gonna Am I gonna go to prison right now? <laughs> Dude, he literally crossed the line. He does me. it all the time. His tone. If yeah. you stabbed him, you wouldn't even see the blood on that outfit. Wow. <laughs> Wow, you know what? I am gonna dictate my behavior based on your behavior. Uh -huh. Me? Not you. Oh. I, I know I was looking at you. I'm sorry. I, I only, <laughs> what did I do? You're, you're, you're the only bright spot in the room. That's why I can only look at you, Jess. Let's show off your tattoos. That's what I really want to see. Okay. Show off the tats. It's new tats. We haven't even talked. So about. I got this one. Comedy store. The comedy store one. Such a good. It's actually so cool. It's like fine needle, right? Fine needle. I love that. And I got this uh, Mad TV one. It's me. He got me on his arm. Yeah. And the next two, three I'm going to get is I'm going to get a Bad Friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to get an Arsenal one. Dope. Yeah. Are you going to get the Canon? Yeah, the Canon. Yeah. And then I'm going to get a Tiger Belly. 
Hmm. <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's it. Well, let me say this. Do you know the name of the Mad TV character? I'd be interested to know. Who knows in this room? Without looking it up, raise your hand. Hold on. No, no, don't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. Do you know? I thought I did, but now I can't think. It's a... It's three... 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 Th three well, it's... It's a... Uh, two words in a... A-E-N. Yeah. No. Do you know it, McCone? You do? Alfred E. Newman. Alfred E. Newman. Alfred e. Do you know the, the histor history behind Alfred E. Newman? I mean, like, I know, like, the Mad Magazine, and he was originally, like, a one-off character, and then quickly into the magazine, like, 10 or so years into the initial run of the magazine, it became, like, the forefront, and they put him up for president every year until yeah. the elections got too ridiculous. Do you know why the name Alfred E. Newman? Do you know why the name Alfred I don't even Newman? know. Don't. Do you guys know? Mm -mm. Look it up. I feel like you don't know. Yeah, you're like, I don't know either. <laughs> Just tell us. Don't, don't look it up. Don't look it up. You tell us. Maybe he doesn't know. Hey, 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 no, it's, don't look it up. You tell us, you fuckface. <laughs> I don't like the games you play. Hey. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, dude. <laughs> I knew it. Now, now look it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I caught you, dude. The precise word. <laughs> uh, yeah. Among the earliest images advertised for Al Almore's Mince Meat. So it was based on someone. Else. Look at those images they pulled from. So dope. That one on the right. That's me. That's you. Yeah, yeah. that's you. Yeah. <laughs> that's 100% me. Fancy. Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, 1908 what? Yeah, 1908 uh, and Antica tablet calendar. Wow. So the character goes that back that far, huh? Well, it's based, no, it's drawings it's based, based on, on those. Oh. Yeah, me worry, why? I buy auto parts from James Evans. Right, so look, that was another ad from 1930 they pulled from. It's because they used to, Alfred E. Newman used to have a phrase that said, me worry. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they kind of bit that. So they stole that yeah. from the 50s, from another wow. campaign. Wow. So he was stolen. So this is your your rock and stolen valor tattoo right now. Yeah, stolen valor. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I had never I never asked when I was on the show what it was about or what it meant. Yeah, New Boy, eighteen ninety four. Wow. wow. What's the good of anything? Nothing. <laughs> I got to tell you, that looks exactly like me as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> You're Alfred E. Newman, dude. Whoa. I wish. Do the smile. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy, dude. If I had bump, wow. if I had if I had a, a gap in my front teeth, it'd be exactly looking like me. Mm. Me worry, yeah. His catchphrase is "What me worry?" It's really funny, and they used to say that on the magazine. What me worry? Question mark. Mm. Mm. I liked at the back of the magazine where you had the match, the thing, the folding paper. Thing. I like that. Yeah, that, was, yeah, fun. that was very cool. That was fun. Do you remember Mad Magazine? Do you ever have it? It was like as a little girl, it was too much. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Too, yeah. It was too. What? Gross. I don't know. I never got into it as a little girl. Mm. The name Alfred E. Newman derived from the comedian uh, Henry Morgan's Here's Morgan radio series on Mutual, ABC, and NBC. Character on the show, the name, the reference to the composer Alfred Newman, who scored many films and composed the familiar fanfare that accompanies 20th Century Fox's opening film logo. Wow, the guy that's in... That's MGM. Oh, sorry, my bad. My bad, the lion. No, that's good. Though. But that was dead on lion, though. That was very, that was good. <laughs> very good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to get my tattoo. I'm sad you went without me. We had this whole thing you guys said when I did the you podcast. Get? If we get you to 100,000 followers, we're all getting tattoos. And then you guys backed out immediately. You have 100,000 followers now? Way over it. Way over it. And, and Vegas, I, I was trying to get <laughs> Because of you, you <laughs> created a monster, man. Well, when you get to a million, we'll get tattoos. Yeah, I don't got, believe you. No, well, that one I promise. You know, you, you know when I was proud of you though. When last week, you had to follow. It was hard hitters. It was Thursday night. That was hard. It was me. Roy Wood Jr. Roy 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 Roy. Roy, Roy. <laughs> Whoa! I fucking love that guy. Yeah, I love him. So funny. He's so funny. And then um, Attell did a pop in. Yeah, right before I went on. Right. So then you went up, and I watched maybe three minutes of your set. And you were fighting. Yeah. It was incredible. But you won. You beat him. I held my own. Yeah, I, did. I think you did. But it was tough. It was, it was incredible. He go, He called me. He goes, how How was your set? I go, longest 15 minutes of my life. It's good. I like those nights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all need those nights. But anyway, um, I was proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. That means the world to me. I think you need those 15 minutes. I think you need those nights. Like when I first got past, I remember those nights. They were tough. I hated doing them sometimes because you were just... 
you're trudging through the mud. Sometimes you think, man, but then when it finally starts to flip consistently, something happens. Mm. I, I always say, I, it reminds me of um, like learning to ski or snowboard. It, it's it's like oddly impossible when you first start doing it. You're like, why am I falling? Like I know how to not fall. What mm. the fuck am I doing? And then something flips, something weird flips where you gain so much confidence in learning how to how to be on your edges that you're like, oh, that's okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna fall. It doesn't matter. The same point about ice skating. Because when I what I don't know why that made me laugh. He was a champion ice skater. Don't do that. No, no. But I was on the you know I was been on a bunch of ice hockey teams. Triple axe holder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a triple axe hole. That was your name on the ice. First of all, Korean. Da, na, 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 triple axle. Yeah, but Koreans <laughs> rip it in the Olympics with with, with ice skating. With what what event? Not the, the, not the, not the speed. Remember skating. that Korean girl that won the gold? The Korean lady? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, her. Look at look at how emotional she is. I love watching her. ice. She, oh, look, look at that face. There are no more rice. <laughs> that's what that face is. That's just her face. Oh, that is. Oh, oh. that's when it's 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 just, yeah, yeah. It's just cold in there. Yeah. <laughs> she's shivering. Yeah. yeah, she's freezing. The poor girl. But even, can I go back to my, I hadn't ice skated in like 25 years. And then once I hit the rink, I just knew how to do it. Oh uh, yeah, right. Once you learn it, it's just in your, like riding a bike, it's just ingrained into your thing. But like, you know, when you're learning something new, especially at my age now, it's just, yeah, fuck it. I'd like I, to say it's also like riding a bicycle. I, Cause I rode a bicycle for a long time and I took a lot of time I just off. said it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You know what it's kind of like with stand up? It's kind of like riding a bike. <laughs> kind of. A BMX bike. It's kind of like riding a BMX bike with pegs. <laughs> yeah. Except you're sitting down. Yeah, of course. You're not standing up. Sometimes, yeah. It's crazy. I have no idea what's going on. I had a great time in Houston. <laughs> Shout out to Houston. Had a great time down there in Houston. And then they took me to one of the local stand up spots. And uh, boy, oh boy, Houston knows how to get down. You know what do you they mean? Have, what they, do you they, mean? They, fucking, they have like the strip of cars where people just show off their cars and shit. Mm. And they were like bumping with like LED lights under underneath. One dude had his trunk open. And I'm not kidding. He had a fucking. Let me guess. Huh? He had a bunch of families in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was taking. Yeah. Am I wrong? No, he's taking them to. Sweet potatoes. Taking, right. Yeah. He's selling sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. Okay. What else? Let, but look give, at that. Just right. like that. So the dude had in the back of his back of his trunk. I'm not kidding. I'm not. It said, pull me over. I'm not kidding. Pull oh, me over. haunting the cops. Yeah. And by the way, in the back, look in the back. So some of them have speakers. This guy had a fucking diorama of like the city of Houston. Wow. He had like the cityscape in the back of his trunk. Wow. But it said, pull me over. And I thought, I was asking the local comics. I was like, so these guys just ride around like this. They don't get in trouble at all. He's like, nah, the cops the cops know that they might have guns too. So they don't even want to pull them over. I was like, that's so funny. That's in odd. LA, they'd get pulled over in seconds. Yeah. You know, it's illegal to cruise on Sunset. Do you know that? They what just do you mean? Re, they they just, just reinstated it. Again. Oh, wow. Okay. No, but do, do you remember back in the day? Dude, you just brought me back, dude. Back in the day at the store when I was young, right? There was cruising. There was people with those kind of cars. Yeah. A bunch of chicks. You know what I mean? Players. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Player. Yeah, players. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Is that player, Bob? Doogie doogie, doogie doogie. <laughs> yeah, what's up? I don't know if that's a word. Yeah, doogie doogie. But yeah, rise. You gotta rise. You gotta rise up. You rise up, dude, and take your chance. But you're not allowed to cruise anymore on Sunset. It's crazy. There's no more cruising. If they, f <laughs> sorry. How do you, they know if you're cru like? If they see you pass by the same point, look. you don't know the difference between regular regular riding and cruising. <laughs> well, if I got pulled over for cruising, I'd be like, I just missed my turn. Yeah, but then you're not cruising. Yeah, you're not. You know what you, you know when you're cruising when you're cruising. You sound like a cop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Pull over. Uh, well, let me see your license and registration. Oh, okay. Well, you know that you're cruising when you're cruising. <laughs> no, I'm driving. No, I'm you're not cruising. cruising. You're definitely cruising, young lady. Give me your license and registration. I will comply, officer, but I'm just driving to work. I'm his new partner. <laughs> <laughs> we see you cruising around here and you're bubbly cocking. Piggly popping out to all, the, all your friends. You're going to prison. My last accent was real. <laughs> this is my guy now. Can I see your badges? <laughs> yeah. So. They're up our you know, you, Do you know the difference between cruising and riding? No. Cruising is like this, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I tell you about. Cruise it, baby. Yeah, cru you want me to cruise? <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm cruising, dog. 
Dude, lower the gun. Dude. <laughs> hey, Boto. I'm cruising. What's up, dog? And then, yeah, that's when you get pulled over. When you get too low, too low. they can't see you. <laughs> Good. Yeah, dude. No cruising. Two times past the same point within six hours. That's that's insane. That's way too specific. Yeah. Yeah, because what if you went and got food and came back? We well, can't do that. That's cruising. <laughs> that, these yeah, laws are out of dude. control. You got to go around, man. You have to learn to cruise, dude. Can we cruise? <sighs> yeah, we can Yeah, cruise. we can cruise, dude. We got to get the right car, but we can cruise. Let's cruise in Ontario. Yeah. Oh, where the cruising zone ends is really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cruising is also another word in the gay community. Cruising. When you're what, what is it? Tell me. You're going fishing for dick. Carlos knows. In parks. Yeah, like, cruising. Cruising for sex. There it is. Wikipedia's yeah. got it, dude. Even the wiki knows. Let me ask you something. If I'm in a park late at night, it's not known for cruising, but can I find cruising? <laughs> <laughs> My guess would be every park late at night is known There's for cruising. There's a section of cruising. There's got to be cruising everywhere. Right. Is there a noise you make? When you're cruising? Well, Car when you're, Carlos When you're knows. dick cruising, yeah. is there a noise you make? Carlos, do the noise. When you're dick cruising in a park. Yeah, you just... You like walk up to like a, a tree with like a bush around it and you just go. <clears throat> oh, you clear your throat? Yeah, but Ew. you yeah. need the throat to be clear. Uh, oh, that's where that song comes from. Let me clear my throat. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Someone give me a big black dick. Da -na 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 -na. Someone give me that big black dick. By the way, I used to live. Oh, here we go. I used to live across the street from the Circus of Books, and they called that Vaseline Alley. Oh, I know. Back in the day. Whoa. So, uh, Vaseline Alley. The that was. Okay, so it was a, the, that's where that's where was. Circus of Books. Yeah, that was that's number great, one for cruising. That's a great cruising. Because spot. hold on, across the street from Circus of Books used to be a bar that was called. Um, the gold, whew, come on. The, the gold punch. What is it, Carlos, you know. Room. No, but it was a, it was the main club in front of Vaseline Alley. And <laughs> it, and sometimes I would walk down that street to get to the improv. Ooh. What, baby? I don't know. Gold no. Coast. Gold Coast. Go, yeah, oh. what about this place on Santa Monica Boulevard? The amount of times I've seen guys getting their dick sucked in that alley walking home from the improv at night, I'm not kidding, uncountable. Do you ever see Carlos on Santa Monica Boulevard? The Starbucks, that one? That's a cruising spot? 633. Whoa. Wow. Dude, we got to go there. But at Santa Monica Boulevard, right by the store on Santa Monica Boulevard, right? There's a French place. Oh. Do you know what I'm talking about? The one next to 7-Eleven and- Yeah, there was a, it's like a French place. I never knew what was there. It wasn't a restaurant. Holloway and La Cienega. Yeah, but yeah. what was that place? What do you mean? It's still there. I, yeah. I, used to, I used to eat brunch there. Don Barris goes there all the time. Oh, that's food? It's a great food spot. Oh, I thought it was a fucking cruising spot. Well, we could turn it into one. Uh, yeah. yeah. I like Let's that go that, back. My bad. I like that this was called Gay Bucks. That Starbucks was Gay Bucks. Yeah, Gay Bucks. Okay, give me number it's three. It's also the currency they accepted. <laughs> really? 24-hour fitness. That is so obvious. The one on Santa Monica. Yeah. I mean, you can yeah. when you drive on Santa Monica, you can look up and see people getting their cock sucked on the treadmill. Home Depot. Oh, <laughs> That's if impressive. you want, if you want Mexicans, <laughs> yin, 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 yin. <laughs> walking on their knees. Hey, have you cruising over here, man? You want running canyon? <laughs> you want me to fix something or <laughs> yeah? yeah. <laughs> or... Are you cruising? Yeah, yeah. Runyon. Yeah. Oh wow. I go there all the time. Eh? Never seen it. That's also true. You do go there to cruise. Target. What Target? For sure, the one on Santa Monica in La Brea. Um, oh, Studs Theater. That was the porno. It's gone. Rest in peace, Studs. Wow. They closed gone. it down. Yeah. You know, I used to lie to people when they came into town and I and took them past. There used to be a bar over there called Lubitsch, a Russian bar. And Studs is right like down the street from it. And when we were going there, if we parked and walked, I'd always be like, you know, that's the the theater where they caught Pee Wee Herman. Everybody believed it. <laughs> it was in Florida or some shit like that. But everyone was like, that's the one. So it got passed around. That's where we met, by the way, Bar Lubitsch. You and me. Yeah. At the, at the, at the show in the back. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. That was Wait, the first time I met you. You, me, and Brent Weinbach. I yeah. love Weinbach. He was so yeah. he's so funny. He's, he's so he's funny. He's really funny. Wait, me, you, Brent Weinbach. I don't maybe TJ Miller. Yeah, Miller. That sounded familiar. Mm -hmm. The pavilions. Which one? Oh my Robertson. Gosh. Yeah, the Robertson. Yeah, that wow. makes sense. Wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Vaseline Alley. There you Dude, it is. you know Vaseline Alley. Told you, bro. Told you. I had a membership for a couple months, but <laughs> you yeah, wow. If you're not sucking enough, they kick you out. The, the Troll Coast instead of the Gold Coast. And the Mold Coast, primarily, primarily to its aging clientele. <laughs> the Mold Coast. Can I ask the etiquette of cruising, though, may I? Mm, yeah. So it could, you, you might must know, Carlos. <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, when, I'm in Vaseline Alley, right? Let's suppose I'm walking down Vaseline Alley. 
Well, you're sli- kind of sliding. I'm down. sliding. Yeah, for, you're slip right? sliding. And do what? What do I do? Do I go look at a guy and go, huh? No. I imagine you could just be very. Or do you just pull it out? Like I don't know what you do. I don't. I don't hello, think, hello. I don't think you have to be coy, no, in Vaseline it's not, Alley. It's not a stand-up set. Oh. You wow. just pull it out like that. You wow. just clear your throat. <laughs> this dude is. Dude, honestly, can, let's get. This is what. I know what this is. What is it? It's a resentment he has. <laughs> why? I don't know why. That's why I want to get to the root of it because there's a resentment that he has, but it's coming out in this way. Yeah. Right? Like it's a, it's an anger. So I want to get to the root of it because this is going to start a war. <laughs> yeah. This is, you know. I agree. Yeah, yeah. this is end game here. So um, what is the anger? On my birthday, you chose everybody but me as your, I, I was your less favorite people, basically. Yeah, I also said though that it's a hard choice. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was really hard. Yeah, yeah that makes like, up. How for do it, you, man. you know? I also said it was a hard choice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's true. Okay. I it wasn't. I was saying it was like yeah, like they ran away with it. Mm. I mean, there was definitely some like, you know, I was you know weighing the fucking in my head. But you know what? I think the truth be told. I probably love you more than I love McCone. Okay. I take it back. DraftKings! NBA fans, listen up. You've got to try Pick 6, the newest fantasy app from DraftKings, an official partner of the NBA. Getting started is simple. Select if a player will have more or less of a stat. For example... Will a player have more than one rebound or will a player have less than three and a half assists? That's right, man. You got your stats. You can pick your favorite players and compete for huge cash prizes. Yeah. I put down a little pick six on Anthony Davis, AD of the Los Angeles Lakers, and he grabbed enough rebounds to get me the money that I wanted. Look, you're not guaranteed to win, but it's fun to play and try. Download the new DraftKings Pick 6 app now using code BADFRIENDS and take on the competition with your best NBA player picks. Only on DraftKings Pick 6 with code BADFRIENDS. Gary Bird. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. 18 plus in most eligible states. Age varies by jurisdiction. Eligibility restrictions apply. Pick 6 not available in all states including, but not limited to, Connecticut and New York. For up-to-date list of states, visit dkng.com. Co slash pick six states void where prohibited. See terms at pick six dot draftkings dot com slash promos. I think How have the shows been on the road, Jess? <laughs> uh, <laughs> great! I headlined thirteen shows this year already. Right, lucky thirteen. Wonderful. And then all your spots. It's been cool seeing people show up. And I got that Netflix thing in May eleventh. Only a few tickets left too. It's in That's May. Amazing. It's already almost sold out. I Netflix can't it. is a joke. Yeah, Where that's you... the name of it. Oh, sorry. Where are you performing? Uh, the Belly Room. It's your own show. It's my own show. It's wow. already almost sold out. It's... They should. Can they add another one? I don't know. I'll, I mean, I think. It's can a... we open? I thought about it. I thought about doing all the people I've I've opened for open for me. Yeah, they... that's actually a good idea. Yeah, why can we open? Why can we open? Yeah, oh no, I want. I was. I didn't think you would be interested. Well, I mean, we didn't get asked. So. I barely hear from you guys these days, so I was. Well, sure. you're too famous. You're fucking bigger yeah. than. I did get invited to Soho House. Whoa! Whoa! Which one? The one in Hollywood? I think so. West Hollywood. I mean, I yeah. think so. Beverly Hills. West yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. And and what and what was the circumstances? I uh, met them at the comedy store. They were like, gave me their emails, and they said, anytime you want to go, just let us know. Was yeah. it representatives of Soho House? Yeah. Oh, nice. Now, Carlos, how c- c- I, I do belong to Soho House? Hell uh, yeah! No, you belong, right, Carlos? Mm-hmm. Can you get me in? Yeah. They let him belong to it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, you're but fine. You know how much it would hurt if I got denied? Oh, my God. You wouldn't get denied? What are you talking about? You just walk up. I've ne- I, Look, dude, I've never been a member. I've been in there f- uh, fucking 300 times. Yeah, I, me too. I just walk in. Yeah. They don't say anything. What time do they close the whole house? I don't know. Uh, one, two-ish. They don't say anything. They don't care. Yeah, if you're you there, they know you. drugs there. It's yeah. fine. Mm. But I'm saying if you, if you know how to get into the park, there yeah. to get to the door they assume you know what you're doing i'll get mm. you in whoa whoa dude why haven't you joined so yeah i live in the fucking valley me too well i don't want to go it's in I beverly hills i don't, I don't go, go down there. do they have one in the valley no of course not oh, downtown damn. yeah they no they do have one in the valley actually they really they do have a secret soho house <laughs> 
<laughs> where is it? They do have a secret Soho house. Yeah, yeah, where is it? I don't know if I should tell All you. All right. Are you allowed to know? Tim Dillon's house? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the other Soho. Yeah, yeah. That's a Soho house. <laughs> any, any interest of dating anybody? Or? Oh, what's going on in the dating scene? I really want to be in a relationship, but I feel like I have no time to explore that. Like, I do single different than Bobby. Mm. I don't know. You guys probably do it kind of the same. But you're not doing. You jump on Raya, fly someone in, pay thousands of dollars to host them. <laughs> you do that, don't you? Yeah, it's not sexy when it's you're doing that for a man. Oh right. Yeah. It doesn't work the other way, does it? Not for me. I want like I, I don't. Be... But I don't do that. I don't do that. Wait well, let's pick up the Hollywood curtain again and see. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Is that a bad? Is that a bad? Am I a? That's a not an insult. <laughs> do you get on Ryan and fly girls in from other places? <laughs> I, I, it's not even invasive. It's not. It's like a fucking common knowledge. I have. I have before. <laughs> oh. I don't want it out there. <laughs> okay. Dude. What is going on with Bob? Cut it out. Go ahead. Cut it out. No, keep it in. No, it's fine. I just don't. I think that's not like an offensive or a mean or rude thing. No, I think it's awesome and hot. If I were the girl, I'd be like, that's awesome. I need to find I've, a guy. I've done it a couple times in my lifetime. Let's just say that. And, yeah. I, and I'm asking you because when you were up on stage Thursday night, mm -hmm. up there. There was two dudes with hard-ons on in the back. <laughs> yeah. And that was sitting in the booths in the back. And behind me, you know who was watching you hmm. with loving in his eyes? Oh, I he told me, yeah. Wait, who? My ex. Yeah. Oh, this is sad. No, I looked around, I looked him, and he was, I swear to God, this is what his face was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's karma <laughs> coming at you. It's not karma, karma. I karma, karma, happen. karma, come here. I want that to happen. No, it's okay. We'll clean it later. You All know right. why he was looking he was like doing, that? He was doing this. So he has arms stretched out like this on the thing, right? You're on stage that way, right? And he was doing this. Oh, you yeah. know why, right? Why? He's a huge Dave Attell fan. Oh, yeah. This is, he was, he was not on stage. No, he came running into the room because they said Dave Attell was there. He's fine. Compliment him while he's doing it. I like that we're all quiet. <laughs> anyway. No, but you're, but, but so seriously, you're not on the apps or none of that shit? No, I, I don't know how to find somebody because I work a lot. Like I'm, I'm, I went to a party, but it was like a work party. So that was the first time I went out outside of a work environment in so long. So I'm just. Oh, not fuck. Sunday at the Andes. Yeah. I was invited. I forgot about it. What was there? That's crazy you know about the party. I didn't think you would oh, go to that. Oh, the employee party? It was yeah. a birthday oh, yeah. party. It was like 10 people at birthday. Wellington. Yeah, she yeah, turned yeah, 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was a great party. Everybody dressed up. I dressed up as Debbie Harry. Oh, that's um, cool. Everyone that's great. thought I was Taylor Swift. And there was no <laughs> guy there that you went, hmm, ooh la la. No, because I work with all of them, and yeah, yeah. I'm not doing that. What, 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 when you're on the road? So when I'm on the road, there's been a couple guys in like the meet and greet that'll be like, can I take you out for a drink? But it feels weird because I've just, it's like they know about me, but I don't know anything about them. I mean, it, it, that's how it works. That is how it works. Is it though? Because like now I'm going, well, I don't, I don't more, know these people. I know, but when you become more known, that's part of it. It just feels weird they know more about me than I know about Then, then you, you know what you do? Yeah. It's an old trick in the book. <laughs> it, you may not know. You ask questions. You get to know them. Like, oh. what do you do? How You're like your teaching an, an autistic kid to have a date. It feels yeah. so awkward. <laughs> ask questions, buddy. You ask questions, buddy. That's how you learn. Yeah. It's and not... also, can I just say this? It's not wrong to get some side dick. <laughs> yeah, but also, okay, that's a good point. I feel a lot of pressure to go on a right? date. Right, that's in a book somewhere. That is in some book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe in that Cruising 101 <laughs> Vaseline Alley book. Yeah. How do, is there pressure? Because if I go on a date, they're going to want to have sex, but maybe I don't want to have sex. So. Lay, that, lay that out forward. Go, look, I'm not interested in sleeping with someone, but I am down to hang out with you. Just say that up top? Absolutely. But even if you did like the guy, right? You you have a couple of drinky drinks, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah, I want to make out with this guy. It, there's nothing wrong with that. And you're also still not obligated to do shit. Yeah. You just tell him, look, I'm not going to sleep with you. I wish you guys could come with me. I'm we will. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Just over your shoulder, we're like, she's not gonna fuck you, man. <laughs> People don't realize if it's in that relationship for five years, 
and I've just been working my ass off, like in stand up, like head to the ground, like hustling. So I, I have so out of touch. Yeah, like, but you deserve to f- uh, enjoy that stuff too. You do, you're, you deserve to get. It stuff. doesn't have to mean anything. It can just be fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm maybe. That's I'll what my therapist it. says. Yeah, you're allowed to have. She's fun. Like you're allowed to have fun in life. Maybe I'll do the app. The app sounds scary. Like I'll just meet up with somebody in a random place. That's in an alley. Carlos does that all the time. Yeah, yeah. you can meet them at a police station or a firehouse. That sounds so lame. Good advice. Dude. <laughs> also, you know what? What with someone like you, right? You you could be in the power position. I don't want to be there. But wait, go on, go on, go on, go on. And you could have a guy that you're attracted to, who's a great guy, great ethics, value, morals, great job, all the things but likes to follow in your footsteps and doesn't need to be the center of attention and you're the at person. He could be supportive of you and then you get great dick on the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of want someone like, I watched Goodfellas recently. No. No. Yeah, I want like a mafia guy who has connections and like, (laughs) I want a powerful man in my relationship. You want a guy that owns a sandwich shop in New Jersey, huh? Yeah. You know what I'm going? I don't want to date a pussy, you know? What are you talking about? No, what are you talking Let's about? not talk about it. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, forget about it. Hey, forget about this lady over here. That's what he says Stop. after. Oh my God. So anyway, um, that's what he says after. You're he allowed to have fun. Comes too fast. Forget about it. Forget about. Hey, forget about it. It's a hundred dollars. Take a walk, huh? <laughs> go shopping. Hey, go shower, bitch. Don't tell anybody I came too fast. Insecure gangster. Let, let, Don't tell anybody that I pre-came. <laughs> Can we get what you what, what you're looking for here? Like, can we check off the list? What are you looking for here? Um, I want somebody not in comedy, but okay. oh, that you hear what she just said? What doesn't want a Jewish person? That's what she just said. Yeah, <laughs> none right. of us are Jew. Jewish. Racist, don't racist, okay, yeah. racist. Right. You don't want a Jewish person. None what of else? us are Jewish. Um, no, but somebody <laughs> far as you know who makes as much money as me or more. Jew. Yeah. So now you want a Jew. <laughs> maybe I do, maybe uh, I don't. I don't, you're mixed silk is her. Mix. No, she said uh, as much money as her or more. Yeah. Right. So like half Jewish. Yeah. Okay. Like a like dad's Jewish, mom's not. Yeah. Right. Okay. Not a real Jew. What else? <laughs> <laughs> um. That they're like, they can fight. Why do you make that face? That's a good quality to I don't have. know why you need that. Yeah, I want to feel protected. Yeah, but what if they just have a gun? Yeah, what if I have mace? <laughs> I don't want to go on a date in this guy's house. What if I have the rape whistle? It's so funny that I said gun, he said mace. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? That's just such an extreme difference. <laughs> I know, but you want to murder, I just want to like I don't want to murder. Deter. Shoot him in the knees. You know like Jake Gyllenhaal in Southpaw? Yeah. In what? Southpaw. <laughs> can I get that? You yeah, you can't. <laughs> You no chance. You can't get My that. My standards are too high. No. That's a really, because he is, that's like top of the line, Jake Gilly. You saw it. Look yeah. at the guy. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Jesus fucking Christ. He's great in that. That's all I want. Yeah, that's. You're not going to get that. Sim- simple pimple stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get that. Roadhouse. Look at that. Wow. That's what you want? Yeah, of course. And you know what you're going to get? He's not interested. You know what you're really going to get? You're going to get Stavros. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like he can it. fight there. That's it. He can, he can fight, fight though. He can fight. And he's got a yeah. He looks mafia. Yeah. Not Italian. It's mafia. like the Roadhouse photo, but like stretched out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like if panoramic, I, panoramic Roadhouse. Maybe if I squint my eyes. Yeah. Like if a skinny guy got a tattoo of Jake Gyllenhaal and then he got fat, that would be the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the tattoo. Yeah. So, so you're looking for a guy that can fight. A guy that has more money or as much money as you. Yeah. Right? I don't want to be like the power of dynamic. I I don't like to be the more. You don't want to pay for someone else. You want someone to pay for you. Yeah. And if well, okay, let, a bond, uh, what like if I'm a guy that says. An independent person. What, what if I'm a guy that says, yo, fuck art. And this is one of the cruising guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's just like, fuck Basquiat, man. I fucking hate art. Yeah. Is that a problem? Well, no. Okay. Because then well, I could do my own thing. Yeah. 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 And, you know, I hate food. <laughs> what do you eat? Oh, I met this guy. Yeah, you've heard them. You yeah. know this guy. You know this guy. I hate yeah. food guy. I've never heard Bobby say that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. This is, this is not, not me. I love my body. I love yeah. food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, I hate food. Like, you know, I got to eat. Bullshit. Oh, you know who yeah. did say that the other day? Who? Mark Smalls. 
He hates the art of eating. He Yeah, th- look at him. Malnutrition. I know. I don't trust that at all. Yeah, I don't call I me yeah. hate food. Yeah. He doesn't he eats just plays Warzone all day. Yeah, he thinks it's a waste of time. You can only yeah. say that it's a first world country problem. Yeah, I so do hate you hate food? Do you a guy that doesn't like food eats it because he has to survive but doesn't like flavors or great restaurants? So, what about a guy that never wants to go out to eat? Ever. Never. Only does home cooked meals. Refuses That's to go out. That's weird. Okay. Yeah. What if I, he's got a nice pipe and he knows how to fight? And he now, makes and that, he makes a lot of money. We'll eat at home. <laughs> no, yeah, but... What about one of those fools that do meal preps? So I know people that go, yeah, I buy a bunch of chicken, a bunch of rice, <laughs> and I just cook it at one time. And they save it. And this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Does that guy bother you? If I wanted that, I'd be a lesbian and just get a housewife. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's up to you. Know. You guys are asking me about dating, like how you would want a woman. No. No. No, no, no. No. No, we're just saying, like, what would be the flaw that you'd be okay with that's weird like that like it's a little strange but it's not that big of a deal i wouldn't it wouldn't be like i would end the date immediately if he's like i love to meal what if it, what if he was what if he was really handsome and cool but he also but he smoked crack <laughs> but he made a lot of fucking money and yeah, yeah, a, yeah 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 and he had a nice dick but he smoked cr- rocks yeah he, <laughs> he's not an addict yeah right okay okay he, he just casually <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a casual no there could be a guy you think a there's, ca- no, you think there's a casual crackhead? Yeah, a head? casual crack- I only do it on weekends. <laughs> and I only do it with my friends. Yeah. Okay? okay? So on Saturdays, Sunday nights. I never night, smoke alone. Yeah, you never, never yeah, smoke alone. Friday and Saturdays, right? Okay. Him and his buddies, they'll watch a game. Smoke crack. And smoke crack together. Yeah. But on uh, Monday through Friday, I mean, just during the days, he goes to his fucking, he works at, you know. An insurance company. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's an insurance broker. He works for Allstate. Well, I've always wanted to try crack, so. Okay. No, well, yeah. Have you never tried it? No. Have well, you tried it? I don't think so. Have I tried crack? <laughs> no, man. I've That's not it. an insane question, man. Most people haven't tried crack. I've smoked cocaine. That's crack. That's close. <laughs> That's close. That's pretty close. But it didn't look like crack, and it was like $80. Give me the percentages of Americans that use crack. <laughs> like, how would they even find them all? To do the second set. The They're fences. all li- yeah. Crack statistics. <laughs> How come I couldn't be on this survey? Who uses crack cocaine? <laughs> okay, that's not bad. That's statistic. No crack. Yeah. I'm trying to be funny, but I would not want a crack user. Okay. This is that 97% of crack users are American. It's God is good. God is good. This is the greatest country in the world. Because we know what's good is. Yeah, all those other fucking losers are They behind. don't know what it is. Imagine if you introduce crack to like Japan. How much it's it's like the cleanest place on earth. Yeah. It's already that way. Yeah. What would crack do? It's just more efficient. I mean, no. Just, you could, well, like, crack doesn't make you let's not crack's not like meth. Yeah, but in Japan it would be. Oh, in Japan it would be. No, Japanese people on meth. What kind of technologies can they make? <laughs> we could go to the moon and back the same day. <laughs> They like that, you know, the Avengers, Avengers Endgame, <laughs> that little thing that they can go back in the past. They could they, probably make one of those. They make that like an hour and a half. In an hour and a half. <laughs> give, a, give a Japanese guy Adderall. Isn't, what's that old quote? Give a Japanese guy, teach a Japanese guy how to fish. He'll eat Adderall? He'll eat Adderall. <laughs> build a time machine. <laughs> what's that old quote? What are these statistics? 2022 was the high, highest use of crack in America? Yeah, it's like uh, 5.7. We're back, baby. There was a dip. Oh man, hmm. there was a dip. COVID. Yeah, a dip in COVID. Let, you couldn't get crack during COVID. Isn't that funny? That's why they did it. Try to stop the drug wars. They made everyone stay at home. Wow. Oh, Obama never elected though. less black people smoking crack. Oh. 2011. Speaking of dip, I got to bring it up. We have to stop smoking. <laughs> you both do. I've said that twice. Why? We have to do a pact. I feel like you, you're the one that got me back on the I, road. That's not fair to say that. Yeah, but it's true. It's not true. It's not fair, but true. We would go on the road and Bobby would corner me and like hit me to give him cigarettes. Mm-hmm. And I, no, I never would. Did. No, you would go like this. Before the sh- you're set, cigarette? No, I would. That, everyone knows And I'd be like, hey, you know, I quit. I went weak. One well, won't hurt. <laughs> you said one won't hurt. So are you saying, are you genuinely saying on the show right near right now that Jetski got you back on cigarettes? That's I, so I can unfair. say this for a fact. That's I, so I can. Unfair. I know. I can say this for a fact. No, but I can say that if she wasn't on the road with us, 
I wouldn't be smoking now. I'm, Interesting. That's why I'm quitting. Yeah, yeah. So that, I, I can it, say that for a fact. He would bully me for cigarettes. And I wasn't. Bu- no, dude. Honestly, dude, let's not be. Let's be real. I, and it tell is the fans. Real. That's so insane that you would even say that. It's true though. I had quit for two years. It broke my heart. Right? To and get I'm this. like, I'm sitting in my dressing room, and you would stick your fingers <laughs> into not. the door with a cigarette. Whoa. She would do that. And go, would you? I would blow the smoke in your face, but yeah, I didn't do that other stuff. <laughs> So no, smoke. I'm gonna die from no. lung cancer, and, and I hope you corner me and be like, "You're fired if you don't give me them." Like it was. It oh poured. my god, that's so <laughs> insane that you would even say that. It's true. It's not true, you fucking bastard. And then you say, "I can handle it. I can handle it. I'll just." Carlos, what do you remember? I think he was with us in Vegas when we were outside. Yeah, I remember it. It was concerning that you were smoking because I knew you quit for a while. But I do know that jet ski wouldn't just like offer you shit that you. She knew you quit. She was a supplier. Yeah, but he made did, her. He did, used did you hear that? That's the greatest thing you've ever said in your life. She was the supplier. My, right? No, it's a py- power dynamic issue. It was. It's not a power dynamic. It was that, a literal no. quid pro quo. It's a supplier. If you don't give me a cigarette, you Jesse, don't work the supplier. anymore. <laughs> sounds right. It sounds pretty good. Yeah. Well, you're Without Weinstein, supply, then. there's no means. <laughs> Correct? That's right. Right? Then I'm quitting, and I really hope you do it with me. No. I know you won't. I'm but. lost in it now. I know. At two years. The mortality of lung cancer are highest in Asia compared with Europe and USA with incidence and mortality rates being 34.4 and 28.1 per 100,000 respectively in East Asia. Asians be smoking. Asians be smoking. I really, really tried to hide it from you and not give you them, just so you know. And I don't want to quit, but I know I have to. What does that mean, that we get it more? You get it at a higher ratio per 100,000 people, lung cancer, because many people in Asia smoke. It's, I think feel like it's normalized. Where America has flipped the last decade and and made it the opposite. They've tried to denormalize smoking. That's why they took it out of restaurants and around the world, tobacco products smoking vary in each country among different demographic groups. The countries with the highest prevalence of daily smokers are Kiribati, Nauru, and Papua New Guinea, where 35% or more of the population smoke. Can I ask a philosophical question? Yeah. yeah. How's today's podcast going? <laughs> I've had a really good time. Me too. I, I like, you know, it's just good to be back with the gang. This Feels is the good. gang, right? And when I was in Houston alone, I felt a little sad. I knew you would. I missed the gang a little I bit. I know you would. You know what's so funny about the road at night? <clears throat> Same thing that we had. Um, I, I brought uh, Mike Falzone down there. You know Falzone. Mm-hmm. And we were, it was great. We were writing together and stuff. And like you're writing and you're working and I'm working on this hour. And then at night in the hotel... It is. There are those moments when I'm like staring at the stuff and going over all the shit and re-listening to the shows that you, I think that's the hardest part that people don't know. Performing, all that stuff, most fun. Hardest part is like tinkering, Mm. retooling. It's almost like when you build a paper airplane when you're a kid and the first one's fucking dog shit and then somebody teaches you how to do like the other flap and you're like, whoa, how do you Mm. do that? And then you keep doing it until you, you, then you start to really figure it out. But sometimes the tinkering is, that's the hardest shit. Yeah. Especially when you feel like it's not, He's like, why the fuck isn't that flying? I don't even understand. I it. can sell something if I know it's gonna work. Right. But when it's when I I'm iffy about it, my the confidence is like fifty percent less. I say it not meekly, but I say it in a uh, not in the way I would normally deliver something. Well, yeah, the audiences have gotten smart. They know that you're not all the way in, so they can feel it when you say something. But also the wording. Sometimes like, oh my, I think I fucked up the wording. Oh, Once right. I know something works, I know the beats and all that stuff. But sometimes I'll see the setup of it and I'll go, oh, that's completely wrong. Right. It feels you know what I mean? And now when I do the, the funny part, it's just going to not make it sense or, you know what I mean? I hate it. But that's the tooling that's kind of the yeah. most fun. But I do. Thailand, like- what is this? Thailand passes bill to legalize same sex marriage. So finally. Wait a minute. It was illegal in Thailand? Yeah. It- Isn't that the spot to go get Thai boys and all have that crazy deviant fun? Yeah, that's like in one neighborhood, probably. Wait, but in the. But it's probably in Bangkok. They legalize weed before get same sex marriage. It's the first Southeast Asian nation to guarantee the marriage rights for gay and lesbian. That's great. It's wow. the beginning. Is that now? That just happened now? Yeah. So lady boys are chill, but gay marriage is not chill. It's only fun if it's illegal. Jesus. <laughs> no, no, let that sink in. Yeah, we'll put that on your tombstone. It's right. only fun when it's illegal. And then yeah. as soon as they legal. Your Honor, his last words. <laughs> Where his, it's only fun if it's illegal. Isn't that the point of that going to Thailand? Of getting lady boys? No, I think that's a lot of people that have rep, that have these repressed feelings about having sex with trans women or 
men uh, and don't want to uh, fucking come f- clean about how they feel. So they go there to be like, well, it's, it, you know, it's a thing here, but they're just afraid of how they feel. If they wanted to do it, you know, out, out, out loud, they just do it here. No, but they don't. It's a thing here. But they're repressed. So they go there because they repressed. feel like that's a, that's like a pass. It's like a pass. They don't want to do it here because they don't want to. And I feel like so many people that go over there that get lady boys, they're married. Yeah. I feel like that's married dudes go there to do that. Yeah. Because well, if you're a single, you could just do sneak it here. If you're single, you wanted a, a lady boy here. You could just get one here. Right, Carlos? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Have you been to Bangkok, Carlos, and done that thing? No, I haven't. Would you go get a lady boy? No, I... I, I'm not it's like so borderline like sex trafficky to me that I don't want to mm. go over there mm, well, get, a, get a lady man yeah get yeah. a lady man <laughs> get a lady man here in LA no I would do it he's in like LA. right now tonight not a lady boy so get a lady you, man you, you, so, 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 I wouldn't go to Thailand you're bisexual Bobby and you're not wow interesting no I'm not no it's all on a spectrum and I think we're like on that spectrum right next to each other I'm not on the spectrum man is Carlos hitting on Bobby? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are on I, I did say. We'd be a good couple. I mean, I. Oh, no. I, I do. Nice butt. I, okay. You do like my ass. Your ass is. Oh, what can I say about your ass? <laughs> Probably the best ass I've had men and women. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. Your ass is. Yeah, man. You're not on that spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are on that spectrum. I'm driving by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm cruising. Yeah, cruising. No, no, no. I'm cruising. Uh, okay, have What's going you on over there? seen his butt? I mean, it, it just in his pants, yeah. No, look at the bare ass. Dude. No. He, he, All right, show it. Go stand in the hallway there so I can see it. Okay. I'll judge. It's like an optical illusion. Turn around. Stay there. Jesse, close your oh, eyes. Yeah, stay over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. No, no, no. Turn this way. Bend over. Spread it. No, don't spread it. Please don't spread it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a you know what, can it's, I it looks like you? a regular guy's butt. I, if the f- yeah, oh, oh that's oh, good. Bob, that's good. Do you like that when he shakes? It? Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> this is what Dan Snyder did in that his writing room. <laughs> <laughs> this were his yeah, writing yeah, yeah. room. It gets we'll, be, weird. we'll be right back, bad friends. <laughs> After these commercial, and then we just get gacked. <laughs> now nah, you got a regular guy's butt. I don't know. It looks like a guy's butt. I think that's what Bobby likes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, thank you for being a bad friend. Thank you for being a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs>